Hi, welcome to Tea with Jan. Today we are going to dive into cleaning a teapot. So I got this vintage teapot, maybe handmade teapot, not quite sure, but I picked it up at a thrift store and you can see there's some crazing in the inside and it's just overall not great. We want to make sure that it feels good to be able to drink out of it and that I'm not getting, you know, like any like, ugh, what's happening with this teapot while I drink out of it? First thing that I do is that I take a bowl just to make it a little bit easier to contain and I align the bowl with a nice cloth. Now I want to make sure that if I accidentally drop my teapot, that it has a cozy place to live. So I take the lid off of it and we are going to use Polydent. I have had such great luck with using this and typically people would use it for retainers or you know fake teeth and stuff. So you just take one out. This doesn't smell or anything like that. I think that there's ones that are really smelly but I just get the normal ones. Just drop that in there. Add yourself some warm tap water and I'm gonna let it like overflow slightly and then put that lid on. We're gonna close that off. I'm gonna let this sit, hmm, I go 30 minutes to a couple hours and you can see how the water is right out the spout. After it's sitting for a while, we come back to it and we're going to give it a good scrubbing. So I want to make sure that I'm getting in all the little places. Now, hmm, that's not the best brush for it. So let's use a little nice soft towel. So we don't want to use anything like too harsh or anything like that. What I find for the little holes and stuff like this is a toothpick is perfect. You know, you want to make sure that you're not drinking your tea and all of a sudden there's like little blobs of dirt or anything like that that come out of it. So, you know, it's all those little tiny pieces that are going to make you feel like it's, it's perfect again, that it's just yours. And just keep getting your rag wet and pour out, pour, you know, really pouring out through the spout is, you know, very important too because we want to make sure that we get that water going through there. So we're giving it a good going. I find that the straw brushes are really good for really tiny um, spouts like this one and you want to just keep going back and forth like that, making sure that you're getting in as far as you can without damaging the teapot. You know, just keep looking at over and keep scrubbing as much as you can. You know, scrubbing is, sounds like a hard word, a harsh word, but it's not. You can see that there's some crazing in there. You're not going to get out that stain because um, it's kind of almost under the surface. But you want to feel around with your hands. So, you know, get the lid. I find these little bottle brushes are perfect. They're just little, you can get around into those little tiny pieces and everything. And this I'm still scrubbing with the polydent. Now here's the time where we're going to rinse it off. And by doing this too, you're really feeling the, that piece that you just bought. You're really giving it, you know, a good go over. You're really going to know what this piece is like when you're done. So just be extra careful with it. I do find that the polydent makes it uh, slippery. So you want to make sure that when you're rinsing it off that, you know, you give it a good rinsing, but that you're very cautious of how slippery it could be at this moment. I usually like to let the water run and go through the spout and I kind of go both ways. So letting it go out one way and then filling it back up. And I really want to make sure that spout's good. Now I'm going to just use some regular dish soap and again I'm going to go and I'm going to let it sit and for a little bit before I come back and rinse it again. And I'm almost just doing the same thing. I'm washing it over again. I'm really giving it a good feeling. Like I'm touching the little pieces. I'm looking for nicks and cracks. I'm looking for anything that could cause issues or anything like that. I'm making sure that I get all those little tiny holes, you know, the little air holes done. 
and by this time it should be starting to feel like less slippery not so so uh, slippery and slimy like from the polydent you want to make sure that you do the a good a very good um, rinsing here and I find like I said that this is the best way to get to know your teapot and you know you really want to go over it completely like this is now yours it might have been you know sitting around for years and years and years and you want to make sure that it's super clean now it's time to dry it and I find that by drying it like this it's exactly you know what you need because you need to make sure that you can really see it touch all of those pieces again look at how shiny that is it's looking beautiful oh my and look see I found a little a little mark on it okay my final step that I do is that I fill it full of boiling water I let it sit for a second and then I dump that out I give it a good drying again and then it's ready for tea this is its first teapot with me a true loose leaf tea and it's just gonna be delightful and I really appreciate this piece now and I think I appreciate it more look at how glorious it is it is so shiny it's so beautiful and I'm so glad that I saved it from wherever it was doomed to go now we give it the pour whoops <laughs> and maybe this is why this teapot managed to find its way into a thrift shop it is not the most wonderful pour but that's okay it could be the leaves are getting clogged in it next time I try it I'm gonna try it with a tea bag and see if that works better for this one as you can see no tea leaves came out onto the strainer so we'll see if that helps a little bit better for it for next time. And now, the payoff. Time to drink. So good. It's so important to make sure that you actually use your teaware. It's very, very important. Oh! <laughs> Hello, Zoe! <laughs> Zoe's the neighborhood cat, and she's so sweet and so adorable. I'm so happy she came to visit us for tea time. I wish you could hear her purring. She's so sweet. It's just very nice and beautiful day with a beautiful, beautiful kitty nearby and a great cup of tea. It's just perfect. The shininess on that teapot. Wow. It's just gorgeous. Oh, hi, Zoe. <laughs> Here's your cup, Zoe. <laughs> She's so silly. <laughs> it's just nice to relax. Thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait to hear if this helps you out if you have your own cleaning methods. I will chat with you down in the comments. Until next time, take care. Bye!